Senator, one tactic that you've been using in these final days is robocalls, automated, te automated telephone yep. calls into people's homes. And let's listen to one of them. Here it is. Do you need to know that Barack Obama has worked closely with domestic terrorist Bill Ayers, whose organization bombed the U.S. Capitol, the Pentagon, a judge's home, and killed Americans? Senator, back in 2000... Yeah, that, that, that is absolutely can, true. Can I ask a question? Is, no, no, but, but I, before you do, that is absolutely true. And I don't care about Mr. Ayers an old, and his wife, who was on the top ten most wanted list. I care about everybody knowing the relationship between the two of them. That's legitimate. Uh, Senator Obama, Bill Ayers served on a board of the Woods Foundation, and they gave $230,000 to Acorn. What's that all about? He said that he was just a guy in the neighborhood. He wasn't just a guy in the neighborhood. We, know, we need to know the full extent of that relationship. That is an accurate robocall. But Senator, back to, if I may, back in yeah. 2000, when you were the target of robocalls, you called these hate and, they you were. Said, and you said the following, I promise you I have never and will never have anything to do with that kind of political tactic. Now, you've hired the same guy who did the robocalls against you to, reportedly, to do the robocalls against Obama, and the Republican Senator, Susan Collins, the co-chair of your campaign in Maine, has asked you to stop the robocalls. Will you do that? Of course not. These are legitimate and truthful, and they are far different than the phone calls that were made about my family and about certain aspects, that th things that this is this is dramatically different. And either you haven't didn't see those things in 2000, no, I saw them. or you don't know the difference between that and what is a legitimate issue, and that is Senator Obama being truthful with the American people. But let me tell you.